Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, we're going to be talking about a news story out of BDO, specifically in the UK. And BDO in the UK is the latest firm to say that they're going to let their employees work the way that they want. And this hit multiple news outlets today. And reportedly, BDO pulled pulled their employees and 79% of them said the company's staff want to work from home or do a hybrid model where you work from home sometimes and you work from the office. And to me, that just means people are being indecisive or, you know, some days you want to work from the office and some days you don't. And if you work in the big four accounting firms before the pandemic, a lot of people, they would work in the office when they had to and work from home whenever they didn't have to. And you'd have to work at client sites. So it's, to me, it's always, always been a hybrid model. And BDO even said that they're going to invest money in, and other accounting firms also said that they're going to invest money in like retrofitting their offices so people have different places to work. But this has been happening for years in the big four accounting firms. I think they're just trying to take credit for saying that they're listening to staff, and I'm not really sure how much more they're listening to staff. And BDO is the fifth largest accounting firm in the UK, and they have 5,500 people across 18 offices. And they also said that they will increase their technology spend by 10 million pounds to help people get all the kit they need. And that part's interesting to me because uh, I think people do need quote unquote kit because if you're going to work from home, you need to invest in a couple monitors. When you work in the office of the big four accounting firms, you typically get that type of stuff. But if you're working from home, they don't automatically give you monitors for home. And I think people should invest in their workspace at home. You should get a good microphone. You should get a good webcam, something like Logitech, just to make yourself look better on calls where you have to be, where you have to show face, where you have to talk to clients versus those crappy headsets that a lot of people use. Uh, You look like an idiot. Appearances do matter and the audio typically isn't that good. That's just my advice. You should also have a good desk with a couple monitors, like I said before, not just one, especially if you're an associate or senior associate because you're going to be doing a lot of the grunt work and you don't want to be doing it on a tiny laptop, which is probably what you're getting from the big four accounting firms, probably getting it in the mail at this point. But that's just a story. And they kind of ended one of the stories by saying that they will be listening to their people more. BDO furloughed furloughed their employees. I think the accounting firms, uh, BDO is not a big four accounting firm, but I think the accounting firms say they want to listen to their employees when it benefits them, when it aligns with their principles and values. But I don't think they listen to their employees when they let a lot of them go or furlough them. So I think it's just convenient. And they're all trying to take credit for things that they were already doing. A lot of the accounting firms are already working on this hybrid model because even before all of this work from home stuff, the big four accounting firms were way different than other companies because they're client focused. So you had to be out at the client and a lot of people, especially in audit were never in the office anyway, in the, in the big four accounting firm offices, they were always out at client sites. Some client sites have permanent offices for the big four accounting firms. So it's always been a weird hybrid model for the big four accounting firms. Um, the next story I want to talk about is Deloitte digital and snap. There's a lot of news about this because Deloitte Digital and Snap conducted an augmented reality study. They they came together and worked on it together. And and they basically wanted to gauge how popular augmented reality is. And they pulled 15,000 people. And as you might remember, we did a story about KPMG using augmented reality glasses to audit inventory. Well, Snap and Deloitte Digital are trying to raise awareness of augmented reality for businesses, most likely their clients. Now, Snap has Snapchat, and the reason they're doing it is because they've been building those 
augmented reality glasses, you might be familiar with them. And also, if you have Amazon, you might have used augmented reality where you can see what something looks like in your home before you buy it. And so that's what Deloitte Digital and Snap were trying to raise awareness for. They're trying to show, hey, all these direct consumers are using augmented reality. So businesses, you should invest in it more. And they said that people are using augmented reality for things like communication, gaming, media and entertainment, and shopping. And so they're just it doesn't really make sense for a big four accounting firm to do this kind of study unless they're trying to sell a service. They're trying to sell to their clients to use more augmented reality and then to use them to help implement that. And Snap is just trying to sell their technology and software. The last new story I want to talk about is KPMG in the U.S. has expanded their government practice. They added four new professionals, and this became a new story. And the most prominent one was... Maria Vore. She's a 25-year FBI veteran, and she led the FBI's first enterprise data strategy in 2018 as its chief data officer. And there's other people, Pamela Powers, Chad Popel, and Michael Westfall. And it says that they will help government clients transform business processes. And it seems like most of them had at least a little bit of a technology slant to their resumes. And to me, this just shows the big four accounting firms moving more towards governmental work, like I said before. And it says that they're going to help trans- businesses or the government transform their business processes. But I think it's more of to help KPMG win governmental work because these people have strong networks within the government. These are higher level people. And so they're not hiring them to do work. They're hiring them to win work and to help plan the work that they're going to win. But it's really to help with the government acquisition process, use their networks to get governmental work. And I know there's controls around being able to do that, but the big four and KPMG will check all the boxes they have to, but still utilize these people's network to win that work and utilize their knowledge on how to bid on work uh, you know, without a conflict of interest. And they'll use that knowledge to win more governmental work. And they'll use them to get work where they, you know, where they're not conflicted. Because it's not only federal work that the big four accounting firms are trying to win. They're trying to win local, like state in the U.S., and local work in local jurisdictions. There's so much work. Uh, There's trillions of dollars of government spending this year. We've seen that around the world. And so the big four accounting firms are most likely have tons of openings for people with government experience, especially significant government experience, because the consulting is only growing in this area. And we spoke about that guy for PwC who wrote uh, an article for, for, I believe, Forbes, and he had worked with the FBI. So it's it's these people with tons of experience that are really useful for the big four accounting firms because they can use them to win work and they can use them to publish articles that will help them win work. So it's a win-win, and this sector of the big four accounting firms is only going to grow. So that's the podcast for today. To stay up to date, make sure to subscribe to our podcast. Support us financially through the Buy Me A Coffee link and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four County Firms. Thanks for listening.